Kanduke Dance Company's In Dialogue program is a series of ongoing conversations with change makers, verbal, physical, visual explorations that question what it is to be an artist, what words and actions can do as part of an evolving art form. On Being an Artist is the outcome of two days of discussion, interrogation and exchange between Mark Brew, Caroline Bowditch, Claire Cunningham, Vicky Malin and Kate Marsh following the Unlimited 2014 Festival at Southbank Centre London. The 2014-15 In Dialogue programme is curated by guest artist Luke Pell. We've been talking this week and there's been writing in the press recently about how your work continues to change, that you continue to reinvent yourself. And I wondered if you could talk to us about why that's important to you as an artist. I don't know that it's consciously reinventing. I just, I see it more as a, an ongoing process of development, um, of pushing my practice each time. Um, it's, it comes from different influences. Sometimes it's, I have a real thing about um, addressing fear. <laughs> if I'm frightened of doing something or I become conscious that something is frightening to me or I avoid a certain way of performing, um, then I really want to question why I'm afraid of that. Without affecting what the form of the work will be, I do very consciously choose to push my artistic practice in some way in every single piece, that it is, it's fulfilling a creative need of, I want to look at this theme, mm -hmm. but it's also fulfilling a, pra a practice need of, I want to see if I can talk to an audience in a mm. more naturalistic way, or I want to see if I can integrate aerial work yeah. in a way that satisfies me, or I want to sing, I want to bring back my singing. So there's always these things that I'm trying to push at the same time as creatively explore the thing I'm interested in. And what does that offer both you and the people that your work meets with? I guess for me it's, it's about feeling that I'm, I'm not s standing still too much or that I'm not complacent, mm -hmm. I think, is a thing that worries me that I... I think there's a degree to which I could easily just keep making the same kind of... The, you know, the first piece that I made, or the first show that went out, Mobile Evolution, got, got really great responses, mostly, from what I heard, um, and people liked it, and it, it's very... It's quite successful and it's quite a, it's entertaining, it's accessible mm -hmm. for want of a better term. People that don't normally go to dance can see it. It's seeing a different physicality, it's seeing my specific way of dancing on crutches in a way that's unique to me. Um, it's introducing people to that uh, in quite an entertaining and upbeat sort of way. Um, and I could, possibly just keep making things like that. Mm. Um, and I think f I, I get very nervous of the idea that people want, want you to make the same thing. Or I think I'm just eternally suspicious of praise and okay. compliments. And, and I think that probably drives it as well. How does that sit with, um, we talked a little bit this morning about kind of the the palatable and the ex acceptable face of disability, and you were talking about well, the acceptable faces of, of disabled artists within performance. Mm. And you were talking, I was making that connection because you talked about um, that earlier work and not continuing to make that. Yeah, I think maybe I project, maybe I project a, an expectation of what I think people expect. <laughs> I also became aware that. I felt like maybe the work I was doing, I'd come into dance and I'd learned about dance a bit and been excited by the possibilities of movement, but I don't think I, I, I hadn't spent my life doing dance mm. and it wasn't, it's not ingrained in me. It's not my, I, do, it's not, I don't know that it feels like it's my natural art form, it's my natural form of expression. I actually think that's, as a singer, I think that was my natural, yeah. that's where I feel at home actually. Um, and I think there was a desire to go deep and to try and more deeply find what my body might do and say. Um, 
and the, I made a piece recently, Give Me a Reason to Live, which I think is the, f for me, feels like the first time that I've genuinely understood how to explore an idea through movement as mm -hmm. opposed to maybe representing ideas mm -hmm. through movement, which I think maybe I've more been doing recently. And I think also the use of text makes it quite hard to go as deep into movement because I think the two things, finding a balance between them keeps you maybe in a, a shallower sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that this new piece shows a, a side of my vocabulary, it shows a bo my body in a, in a way that isn't as... Um, It's not as pleasing, it's not as, it's not upbeat, it's not, um, it's not joyful, it's quite hard and dark. And I think there's a, there's a shock to people that might have become accustomed to seeing work that is more um, lighthearted. Mm -hmm. um, but it feels more true to where I am right now. And I, I feel a bit like this is maybe a work that won't sit as easily for okay. some audiences or some programmers, but it, needs, it needed to be made and it's, it's where I need to go as an artist.